Hello, it's me. Crazy Rebecca dances with pit bulls. And I am doing this thing called a hundred things challenge where I am trying to use stuff that I already have by making a hundred things. Trust me, it doesn't help your stash, but <laughs> you can say you tried. Okay, so one thing I have a problem with I hoard playing cards because especially when they're 25 cents and they're cool. Scottish historical playing cards. Yeah. Entirely too much fun. So one thing I've noticed they're different sizes. Okay, those are, these are old. These are narrower. This is more of a true ATC size. So it would give you a little bit more room. And that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the newer cards. Steampunk cards. You're going to need some washi tape. You're going to need a napkin. This is just one way to do things. But we're going to use a napkin. And the first thing you do is lay your cards out. Leave a gap because we have to be able to cut them. So it doesn't matter. Ooh, I got a lot of aces. Take your washi tape. Could use masking tape also, but <laughs> and do as I say, not as I do. Okay, let's reboot. <laughs> I think <laughs> I should have just done this first. Just Maybe we don't even have to use the, the long pieces that mess you up. These are, seems like the newer cards, the tape don't stick as well to them. Okay, I'm gonna have nervous breakdown. Here comes the 19th nervous breakdown. That happened to me at work, too. Okay. Good enough. Don't breathe on it. Don't even breathe on it. Oh, my goodness. Should we just switch and do the older cards? Be sure and peel your napkin. You want that backing off of it and save it because we're going to use it. Of course, I didn't bring my brush. Okay. I'm going to use this because I'm trying to use it up. Don't be afraid to use a lot. 
We're going to use some older ones from our next one. <laughs> Put your tie-dye goodness right down like that. And slap a little glue on the top. We wanted that gap because we're going to cut them. You know, if you're really ambitious, you could sand your, your cards before you start. Crazy Rebecca is not that ambitious. Side to dry somewhere and that's going to want to hump up but we will deal with that later okay I'm ready for some old cards again. this time it's gonna be a little different you want them closer together like so. This is going to be a substrate for us to build a journal page. See how much better that tape stuck to that. Scare me to death. Okay. Your piece that you took off your napkin. Let's see, we'll go this way. Bring your napkin all the way. Now we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to show you one I did earlier. So that's the back. And I took my Tim Holtz stuff and I built on top of it, inked the edges, kind of inked everywhere. I should have inked each thing, but I didn't think about it until I already had it glued down. My bad. My bad. So, what can you do with that? You can do a couple of things. You can glue it straight in like that. You can make it a tip 
by putting tape or you could even punch holes in it to make it its own page. I'm going to glue it in this journal that you will see in the next video. Oh, I already signed it, but this is the only place I had to put this. The only place I wanted to put it. So I'm going to sign this little thing and we're going to glue it over there. So I need some better glue. That's going to go there. And I don't care who you are. That's cool. So we're going to let our tie-dye stuff dry. And our other thing. And I am going to go check my supper. Okay, we are going to trim up our cards. playing cards slash ATCs. I hate that stuff. It's sticky. The heck, man. But we're going to go for it because we got to use it up. And because I just watched Cat Hand use up a bunch of napkin scraps on index cards. Really? Still no brush? Will I never learn? their iCads. OK, 
Okay. Wow. Waste not, want not. Got four iPads. All right. I have learned you need to ink the edges first. Okay, I decided to do a voiceover. Did the speedy up thing. I am putting on some trim that I got from Michaels. I went through my stash, found some groovy looking colorful trim. I usually don't do every single ATC the same when I'm doing this. But this kind of lent itself to it, so that's why I decided to just put it all on the same side in exactly the same way. But since each part of the napkin was different on the playing cards, they all actually look different. So they're the same but different. And for some reason, I thought I had 12. I really only had nine <laughs> and I later I I do 12 things thinking oh I need 12 yeah I only needed nine but that's okay that stuff I've had it forever I think I got it in Colorado I left Colorado in 2011 so 10 years yeah uh, and I'm playing with it and yeah there's not enough contrast so I'm gonna just sew them up yes, it soaked it right up so fast and even this it didn't help it didn't help at all this is where I cut out. I cut 12 little clusters when I only needed nine. Oh well. No harm done, right? I was like, I gotta get more. That stuff, it's felt. It's been punched out of felt. So I put purple metallic paint on top of them. <coughs> and then I used my ever-present Inca Gold on top of that. And yeah, you're gonna see they did not stay that way. But I glued them down. I tried my best. <laughs> it's always something. when I was like, wait, why do I have so many of these? Oh, I only needed nine. That one I put the glue on the wrong side. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The number is nine. And I had to put some white paint because... The background is so busy, I was going to put where I'm going to put my words. And Tammy Bowers posted in the Facebook group how she did some painting papers. And I'm like, hey, I can do that. So I did that. I used her circle trick. Okay. 
you know, I buy these things, I hoard them from Hobby Lobby. So I'm like, do I have enough word letters to spell anything that I need? No, I do not. <laughs> Maybe I did. Maybe I could spell love. And I wanted to put, I put love, peace, love, peace, groovy, and far out. And this one, I wasn't thinking, I didn't plan. This is peace. Oh, I guess this one was okay. Is the groovy that I really had problems with. This one. I had to keep moving the letters because... Who knew Groovy took up so much room? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Of course, love is easy to spell, so... I think I might have opened another pack by this point. <laughs> My brain was, you know, I lost so many brain cells back in the 70s. I couldn't think of any more groovy kind of words to put on there. <laughs> then after I did this, I put, I painted the flowers again. It's like, I do not like these. They're not what I want. They're not what I want, I say. So here's my far out, my northbound train coming through here behind me. These took forever. They just took forever because I just wasn't happy. When mama's not happy, nobody's happy, right? So after a little off-camera painting, this is what I have come up with. I could not get these stupid flowers. I mean, I'm happy with them now, but oh, it took me forever. So I have nine of these. So here's how we're gonna count this. Number 10 is nine tie dye ATCs. Number 11 is, I made a total of four of these. The one in the book and these. I left this without a covering because I thought it was cool like it is. So that'll be like a tip-in or something. But these, I can just decorate this part and glue it in. So 11 is four substrates from playing cards. And 
and because sometimes you have to let your dark side show. <laughs> yeah, I did this. This napkin. I think I'm gonna leave this one like it is. Probably my favorite one. <laughs> So number 12, skull napkin, napkin, ATCs, boom, Let's see how many, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, ten in whatever whatever this is it's a substrate now too or whatever okay I gotta clean this table off clean this table off and cut some fabric so see you next time <laughs>